So today I want to talk about a uh, cute geometric theorem called Thales' Theorem. Uh, and if you don't know it by that name, that's fine. I just learned that name myself. But what it states is you start with a circle. So here we have a circle, and I've drawn the diameter through it, a line passing through the center. And Thales' Theorem says that if I take any point on the circle, any point at all, say this point, and I connect it to these two endpoints of the diameter, then this angle right here that I get, this angle, is 90 degrees. In other words, no matter where I choose to put a point on the circle and make a triangle, I'm getting a right angle triangle. That's the content of Thales' theorem. Of course, you have to choose a point other than these two points to actually get a triangle. So let's prove this. The proof is actually very uh, short. Um, and it uses something that we've seen before. So the first thing to do is to connect this point that I chose to the center of the circle. And once I do that, I've divided this uh, large triangle here into two smaller triangles. And I can reason about them as follows. This distance from the center of the circle to the edge, we'll label that R for the radius of the circle. This dotted line is also a radial line of the circle, which means this triangle here is uh, an isosceles triangle. So this angle A, that's this corner of the triangle, is the same as this angle A. By the same token, this wider, flatter triangle we have here is an isosceles triangle because this is a distance R and this is a distance R since it goes from the center of the circle out to the edge. So this is an isosceles triangle. So this angle here, B, is equal to this angle here, B. And lastly, I might label this angle here, C, and this angle, D. And because of the way I've labeled things, we have a few uh, relevant equations. First of all, the thing we're looking for, this angle that I'm claiming is 90 degrees, that's just A plus B, these two angles from these two triangles. So the thing I'm trying to prove is that A plus B equals 90 degrees. Another easy thing to see is that C plus D equals 180 degrees, since together they make a flat line. And well, what else do we have? Well, we know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So that means that A plus A plus C, so 2A plus C, is equal to 180 degrees as well. I have a whole other video that shows this result. And similarly, b plus b plus d, so 2b plus d, is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if I put this together, if I add these two, what I get is 2a plus 2b plus c plus d equals 360. But I know that c plus d equals 180. So from this it follows that 2a plus 2b plus c plus d, which is 180, equals 360. Which means 2a plus 2b equals 180, subtracting 180 from both sides, and now dividing both sides by 2, a plus b, which is the angle I'm trying to figure out, equals 180 divided by 2, 90 degrees, that means this here is a right angle triangle. 